Looking for Madden 22 Ultimate Team Coins? AOEAH.com is the cheapest and most reliable coins on the marketplace. Click the link in the description and use coupon code SPORTS for 3% off your order. Do you need help on defense in Madden 22? If so, make sure to continue to watch this video because I'm about to break down a super easy defense to run that gets great pressure and also has great coverage. YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Duke here from SportsGamers.com. We had a great Madden 22 tip video for you guys today. Everyone's struggling on defense. I mean, even the best players in the world, they do very well to even get one or two stops a game. You know what I mean? It's hard to get stops on this year's game. It really is. So in this video, I'm going to break down a defense that I've been using a lot from the 2-3-6 well. So I've been running the 2-3-6 well a lot lately because it does a great job of containing the quarterback. Um, you know, it can stop the run. It has great coverage and you can get good heat. So we're going to look at a defense here, the edge blitz one. Now, personally with this defense, I like to use auto flip off because I always like and to, and I'm explaining it here in a second, to keep the blitzing linebacker on the side of the running back. So most people are running bunch formations on offense, bunch shot in, bunch, or trips, right? So you're going to have the running back generally opposite the three receivers. So let's kind of break down how this works. You can run this uh, from a lot of different playbooks on defense. I like it a lot from the Bucks. So let's look at verticals, everyone's favorite play. So this is going to be an easy setup, and I'm going to just move the ball back to give ourselves some space to work with. While I do that, make sure, guys, if you're enjoying my content, subscribe to the channel. Drop us a like. I'd really like to get to 250 likes on this video and turn your notifications on. So, like I said, you're going to want to make sure the blitzing linebacker is on the running back side. That's why I use auto flip off. But if they flip their play or they just happen to come out and, you know, you guessed wrong which side the running back is going to be on, just flip. And, you know, you're going to go ahead and be able to make sure that the running back is on the same side as the blitzer. Now, this is a really easy defense to set up. All you're going to do is just simply man the running back up with the blitzing slot corner. That's all you have to do. Now, you could do whatever you want with that slot corner, but you just need him in coverage. I like to man him up in case the running back goes out, so I don't have to worry about him. Then I just control the other linebacker, and these can be safeties in this formation. They can be safeties if you want. And I stand over the guard. I kind of just have to snap, kind of touch them up. So we're going to go to QB contain, and that's going to contain your edge rusher off the right and then the linebacker on the left. Now, if you guys watched the Madden Bowl, you might have seen these looping type blitzes. They are very good. The linebacker is going to loop around, and as you guys know, the running back is not really that good in protection this year picking up these types of blitzes. So you're going to notice here. If you're enjoying my YouTube content, I highly recommend you check out sportsgamers.com. This is where I post all my premium Madden 22 content. I have eBooks, offensive and defensive schemes. Plus I do four to six premium tips every week in the Madden vault. This content is available for both current and next gen. So no matter what system you play on, we got you guys covered. Our best offer yet is the sports gamers Madden VIP membership. This gives you access to the entire site, every tip, Every ebook plus the meta reports for only $19.99. I'll post a link to it in the description and the comments. Make sure to check it out for the best tips and content available at the best price anywhere. So all I did was again man up the slot corner that's blitzing on the running back, QB contain, and user this guy over the center. That's it. Uh, you could shade your coverage if you want, but I mean that's not even necessary. So you guys can see here again we get that pressure pretty quickly for a sack off the left of the screen. So one more time, make sure that the blitzing linebacker is on the side of the running back, man up or coverage either way. You see, we'll put him in a hard flat here, that blitzing linebacker left of the screen, QB contain, and user this guy over the guard. That's really it. Um, and you're gonna notice again, you get that nice looping pressure around the corner for the sack. Now, you know, most people that do this have safeties in the game. The more speed, the better, because they're going to just basically run around that tackle. And as you guys know, most of the time, the running back, even when kept in, does not pick up contains. Um, so that's pretty solid, pretty consistent, guaranteed pressure. I will say, and I think you saw this a uh, time or two ago I ran this, sometimes they get disengages from the uh, edge rushers. Like, they'll see the guy looping around, so they'll just let the guy come, like, kind of disengage through the B-gap. So, like, where you see 55, you're definitely going to want someone fast there in case he does disengage. And he kind of does here as well. 
You guys can see there's nothing open. Now, I don't know if you guys have been paying attention lately, but man coverage has gotten a lot better at this point of the year. I don't like running man coverage like every play or anything, but I've definitely started to mix it in. So this is actually pretty good PA boot over defense too. If someone wants to run PA boot over, the only thing I'd recommend is making sure you keep the corner blitzing off the tide inside. That's really effective at stopping the rollout. Um, I would also recommend pass committing. But what's going to end up happening here is if they try to roll out, and I'm going to do it right now, and I know I have Matt Ryan. So, I mean, I'm sure you guys are thinking Matt Ryan's not fast, but, I mean, this is going to apply regardless. If someone tries to roll out, you got someone's going to come off that edge. They cannot block all, basically, the edge rush of the linebacker in the corner. That Even when they keep the tight end in, there's just too many people that are going to have outside leverage. Um, you, you cannot block all of them. As you guys can see here, uh, they basically had to worry about 52 and the corner, and one of them was able to get the sack. We're going to do that again. So, again, we just press coverage, QB contain, and that's all you got to do against PA boot over. It's actually a really good defense at preventing the rollout. So, here we're going to try to roll out again, and you guys are going to notice. Take a look. We got someone in our face immediately. At this point, if those are fast players, they're really not going to stand much of a chance of rolling out. And this is something that's really effective against the same same concept, like trips, tight end rollouts. Same thing. If you see them trying to roll out on you, I would just keep that corner blitzing and do everything else the same. So basically just press, QB contain, use this guy over to guard, and then of course you're going to, in the, in the play, you're going to look to cover the middle of the field. So again, if they're going to try to roll out on you, I probably would pass commit because that just keeps the rushers from like getting sucked in. But again, look, this is pretty much one guy guaranteed coming free i would again recommend safeties being in the game in these spots at linebackers so you have more speed because we all know in mutt you know if someone's using a 90 speed quarter 90 something speed quarterback you know you're gonna need to have those safeties in the game to make sure you can match up speed for speed otherwise they'll just outrun you every single time which is really frustrating all right guys believe it or not this is actually a pretty good run defense too now i wouldn't recommend utilizing this against under center runs if someone's under center no i don't come out on this it's just not smart um under center runs are a lot more difficult because they, they they're just there's more to it you know they could be running stretches powers traps dives you, you don't know zones even but in shotgun, it's pretty more much, you know, more predictable, I would say. So there's a few things I want to tell you guys about stopping the run from this formation. First of all, personnel-wise, if you're an ultimate team, I would definitely recommend having an inside stuff at the D tackle. I mean, you can get them from one AP, which is basically nothing at this point. Like I would throw it on, say, a Warren Sap, right? The other thing is you can just stop them from gap shoots. And what I mean by that is basically you just you could either take your user, it could be this linebacker, and you just stand on the slot. It could even be a slot corner, just stand in the slot, basically opposite the running back. And what's going to happen is at the snap, you kind of shoot in this gap and you can click off, make the tackle yourself. It doesn't really matter. Now, I would say if you do want to get good at dive tackling because if they're running plays like base with pullers, you're going to have to just basically dive by the guy that's trying to pull and block you. As you guys can see here, I didn't really need to because it was just inside zone. But I just kind of shot in there and clicked off. Um, I want to go for hit sticks, though, because I've gotten a lot of broken tackles trying to do that. So for me, it's easier to just either A, click off, or B, just do a dive tackle. And this is going to be pretty consistent. I mean, I can do it for you guys again, and you're going to see. Again, all you have to do is just stand over here, shoot in. And, I mean, it's there pretty much every single time. It's not something that's hard to do. You can probably master this within a few minutes in practice mode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this defense. It's definitely something you're going to want to put in your game. This 2-3-6 will was run a lot in the Madden Bowl. A lot of the pros are starting to run it as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tip. Till next time, it's do.